This is the eighth year for National Public Gardens Day. It was created to get people excited about public gardens nationwide. It's meant to be fun for visitors with freebies and perks. Luritz and Gardens is ready. They're ready. Mia Jenkins is ready. She's here to talk about it. Talk about the big day. And uh, she's got the gardens tomorrow, right? The big yes. stuff of the day. We yeah, got some yes. events and programs too, you know, but uh, the goal tomorrow, free admission. What's this all about? Well, it's one of the few days where we open to uh, let the public experience the garden for free. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, National Donut Day or National Chocolate Day, but it's a celebration of the public garden and all that we bring to the community. Um, from education to display mm -hmm. and uh, so we will be open from nine to five to four free and guests can enjoy the beautiful spring garden and I'm always on talking about this event or uh -huh. that event but uh -huh. this really truly is about the beauty and joy of the garden mm -hmm. the peonies the pansies all the mm -hmm. things that are blooming right now and an opportunity for people just to relax and unwind and connect to nature is mm -hmm. this the only free day or are there other free days throughout the this is season. our only scheduled free day of the year, yeah. so take Go. advantage yes, of it tomorrow. So what are we going to see? What's in bloom right now, Mia? Well, we have we just planted thousands of pansies throughout the property. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of peonies coming on. I walked through yesterday. There's a lot of Solomon seal. Uh, there's some trees like um, and shrubs. Ohio buckeyes are blooming. Vi our viburnums are blooming. Mm -hmm. It's um, just subtle but very pretty right oh, now. Kind tulips. of that in between. And we're right at the end of tulip season, yeah. so there's a few beds of really oh brilliant goodness, color left um, left for the season. It's been kind of it was an early yeah. spring uh -huh. and then kind of on hold, and then spring <clears> came <throat> back a little bit as well. Um, it's also the last week to see Craig Mitchell Smith. Okay, so the he, sculpture. You yes. brought him here when you. When yes. This first opened, and we were looking then at some of the images. He is supremely talented. He is. What is his work like? Well, it's a, it's a really a representation of nature through glass, and mm -hmm. so they're giant sculptures from a 15 foot tan, uh, excuse me, 15 foot tall dandelion, mm -hmm. a 16 foot tall crepe myrtle. Um, they're created with fused glass. They're brilliantly colored. And it's just a great way to combine art and nature and have mm -hmm. something else to see in Look the garden that. while you're there. And so it's a it's a really beautiful combination That's of art glass. and nature yeah. and what a, you're saying, yeah, that the was glass. opportunity to um, enjoy nature in another way. And he's world renowned though too. I mean he he's is. been this all is across his the world. Eleventh show. Um, and he's set to also uh, do a big show in St. Louis next mm -hmm. year after us. So it really is a privilege to be able to showcase his work. And he'll be at the garden on Sunday uh, to talk to guests and to share stories and his process and, and just to get feedback. We've had wonderful uh, emails and calls and just great uh, visitor feedback of how much they really have enjoyed mm -hmm. this exhibit. I feel like a lot of people probably heard about it. They've seen it advertised. Mm -hmm. They've seen the photographs online. And now they need to go. And now I can <laughs> <laughs> you got to see it. You got to get yep. in there and, and see, see that. it at no charge. But activities planned? Uh, we do have a slate of activities in the afternoon that correlate with another project that we're doing called the Sumpuchaya. Uh, they run from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. and they're centered around the Japanese culture, which really is a beautiful culture. We'll have some tea sampling, some martial arts demonstrations. My favorite is the taiko drumming that mm -hmm. you see on the screen. The it's drummers just, will be there. The just, they will be yeah. there. And um, so there's a variety of things. And uh, Japanese carpentry and tatami mat making as well. We've had a team is of... This carpentry that you're talking about right here? Or? It is and they have a r really interesting technique of wood joinery mm -hmm. and a tradition is very important to them. We've had a team of carpenters here from Japan for the last mm -hmm. week building the Sumpu Chaya which is actually a gift to all the people of Omaha from the people of our sister oh. city Shizuoka oh, wow. Japan and we're going to dedicate that tomorrow at four o'clock and so we'll have this you know, the schedule of activities celebrating the Japanese culture and at four we'll dedicate this new structure. That was it in process earlier yeah. this week. Um, it's been a real interesting experience mm -hmm. to watch them put this together from the I ground like what up. what you're saying about the, the joints, that it's almost like dovetailing yeah, here in they, the United States. They really try to use very little screws and mm -hmm. other things to hold it together mm -hmm. and keep with the naturalness of it. And it was designed in an architectural style uh, to allow that to happen. So it really feels like it blends in with the natural mm -hmm. surroundings of gift. the garden. Cool. So after, it really is. After the dedication, what are you going to use that for? It it's really like a waiting room or a, gaz a gazebo and traditionally in Japan it's used as a waiting room before you would go into a traditional tea house and so 
as we build our Japan, we have a Japanese park now with plans in the future for a Japanese garden. We hope to be able to add that tea house mm -hmm. to the structure uh, to that area. But right now, it's really a place for contemplation, mm. reflection of nature, meditation. Um, and you never know, we might have some other uh, fun uses for it down there. I feel like there's a, a moss euphemism here with, with <laughs> you guys because you're constantly doing things, yes. right? No moss yes. growing under your feet. But tomorrow it's National Public Gardens Day where you can go to Loritz and Gardens, see the glass work, see what's in bloom, no charge. And maybe it'll entice you to get a membership so you can take advantage all year long. Learn more about that online at LoritzandGardens.org. Thank you, Mia Thank Jenkins. You. Thanks, have, a good, have a good day, free day tomorrow. I'm excited yeah, about it. it should be fun. <laughs> you get a lot of people there, don't you? It is, and yeah. it's always great to talk to people about the garden and things, and so many people just don't realize everything that's there. Share and the so enthusiasm. It's, yeah, it's really it's wow. a great day. Have fun. Thanks, Thank you. Mia. All right, still ahead.